What's up everyone, Paul here from Gamma Mori. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at the LifeProof Fray case for your iPhone 6 that was just released about a month ago by the company. It currently goes for $80 in the United States and it comes in six different colors, but I so far was only able to find the black one. Now this thing is waterproof, dirt proof, snow proof, shock proof, so it's pretty much element proof. Now I still wouldn't throw it into fire, I know it's very tempting and you want to definitely test it out, but I advise against it, it probably wouldn't have the right results that you're looking for. Now behind this magnetic flap here, you're going to see the actual case behind this plastic here, it's nicely displayed. And the back of the box is uh, just going to tell you a little bit more information, just going to tell you uh, pretty much the same things as the front of the box, just a little more detail. Alright, let's take a look at it outside of the box, and uh, the first thing that we have here is the top of the case, as you can see it comes in two separate halves. This is the front piece that goes over your screen, and this is the back part that's going to go onto the back of your phone. And on the back here we have this blue tape here, this blue sticker, and it tells you that before you expose your device to water to make sure you test it without your device in there, because it might not be completely waterproof. So we're going to do that in just a minute. Now the other thing that comes in the case here is this microfiber lifeproof uh, little cloth that you're going to be able to clean your device with. And also we have the little manual booklet here, which I think it's probably going to be a good idea to read through because it's going to tell you how to test your device and how to put the case on to make sure that you're going to be 100% waterproof because you don't want to ruin your device. And the next thing that we have here is this little card that tells you to learn your fingerprints onto the device or into the device before you put the case on because once the case is on it might not learn it correctly. And the last thing that we have here is this little dongle, this 3.5mm uh, mini jack extension and this is here pretty much for your uh, waterproofing reasons, uh, so this actually has a threaded end on the 3.5mm uh, jack end, so this will screw into the bottom of your case, and we'll take a look at this in just a minute, but as you can see it has a little green rubber gasket here with the, uh, the threaded part, and this will go into your bottom of the case, and then the other end where you can plug in your headphone, but we will take a little bit closer look at this in just a minute. And these are pretty much all your contents that came inside the box. Right, so let's take a closer look at how to install this on your device. And inside the front piece there's a piece of paper with some instructions on it. And the piece that goes on the back of your phone has a green rubber gasket that goes around the edge and also on the little flap on the bottom. Now the first thing that we have to do is remove this paper from the front part and this will expose the clear plastic that will sit on the screen of your phone. On the bottom of this part we also have our fingerprint sensor which is covered and protected by this tape which will once we remove will expose this soft part and you can see that if I press on it with my finger it is a much softer material than the rest of the screen so you have to be careful not to accidentally press too hard and break right through it. And so let's put the case together and as you can see there's a light grey colored lip around the edge of the front piece that will slide inside the groove of the back plate and this will lock into place sealing the device all the way around. Now once you're done, the little window will lock into place on the lightning port as well, not allowing water to get inside. Now also the headphone jack plug has to be screwed into the case all the way and make sure you twist it in all the way before you actually drop it into water. As you can see the case is a little bit warped, but I hope that once we put the phone inside it, it will actually straighten out a little bit and you can see if I put it down on a flat surface, it kind of moves around. Right, so let's do the water test and as you can see if I drop the case into the water it stays on top because it's full of air and obviously it's going to just float on top. So you're going to have to push it down to the bottom and to hold it down with something I'm just going to use a bottle of water to press down on it and it's going to keep it down on the bottom and we'll come back in half an hour. Alright so half an hour passed and so we're ready to take the case out and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dry it off with a little bit of paper towel to make sure that there's no water on the outside of the case and we're ready to open it up and now to open the case what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to use a coin any kind of coin that you can just put into the corner into this little groove here and you just have to pry it open and once it's pried open then you can just grab it with your fingers and just start pulling the case all the way around and open it up just the same way exactly like you closed it as you can see the inside of the case is fairly dry there's uh, just this little piece of water here that I think I just flicked it in there while I was opening up the case but other than that I don't see any water and on the edge around the gray part there's some water buildup but that didn't go past through the gasket so now we're ready to put the phone inside 
and just make sure you use the uh, the microfiber cloth that came with it to wipe off the inside of the case as well as the phone and once you're ready just put the phone inside the front piece and push it in there now once it's in there you can see that it kind of sits flat and the level with the front part and now this time we're gonna wipe off the back of the uh, the phone itself and especially around the camera and around the Apple logo because those are the areas that's gonna be exposed so we want to make sure there's no dirt or fingerprints around there once you close the case uh, around uh, you can see there's still a little bit of warping in the case around and if I put it down you can still see it moves so hopefully this will correct itself eventually and this is pretty much how the phone looks like with the case installed on it on the bottom of the case we have two openings and one is for the microphone and one is for the speaker and these are both waterproof we also have this little flap here that protects the lightning port so make sure you close this thing good to keep the elements out now to the left here we have this protective plug that we seen earlier and this protects the headphone jack and there are ridges around the edge here so you can easily unscrew it and also screw it in now there's this rubber seal around the plug itself as you can see and this will keep the water out once you plug it in there and twist it in there all the way but this is where the little dongle that came with the uh, case comes in handy you can twist this in there and make sure you twist it in all the way uh, to make a good connection between the case and the seal and this will keep the water out and this time you're going to be able to use this part to plug in your headphone in here especially if you try to do water sports now the side of the case here says life proof on it and once we reach up to the top we have our volume up and down controls as well as we have our mute switch now the mute switch works in reverse so actually as you can see from the inside there's a little leverage there so it works the other way around so it's going to move the switch the opposite direction so you're going to have to keep that in mind when you're using the phone also we have these two little nipples that protrude a little bit further than the buttons themselves so I guess they're here so in case you would drop the phone the phone wouldn't actually hit the buttons uh, it would just hit these ridges the other side has the light proof logo as well on it and then we have our power on and off switch now the power on and off switch doesn't work as smooth as the volume up and down controls but it still works fine on the back we have a little window for our Apple logo as well as we have two openings one for the camera and one for the flash now the only thing that I'm surprised about is that they covered up the microphone in the back here so I'm not sure if that's going to really affect the performance or not. The case does add to the thickness, to the length and to the width as well but I guess this is the price you will pay to have some protection around the phone. Right off the bat there are a few things I dislike about the case. The first is the rainbowing effect. As the screen protector touches the screen of the phone it produces these colored bands. The other thing is the imperfection on the fingerprint sensor. I'm not sure if these bubbles will have an effect on the performance of the sensor in the future. Also, you will not be able to use aftermarket lighting cables as they will not fit through the opening. The only cable I was able to plug in is the original Apple cable that comes with the phone. And the same thing goes for the headphone jack. I tried plugging in many different type or brand of cables but unfortunately none of them were thin or long enough to make the connection. So you always have to keep the extension piece with you even if you're just trying to listen to the music casually and not only under wet conditions. Alright guys, here I am a week later and I've been using the case since I installed it uh, on the uh, original unboxing video. So it's been a week now and here are a couple of things that I like to talk about the quality of the case or maybe I should say the lack of quality. Now for $80 you would expect that you're getting something not only that protects your phone but also looks good and it doesn't have flaws to it. Now here are the couple of things that I noticed with the other uh, case and I want to share this with you before I put the video out there and the first thing that really bugs me about the product is the imperfection in certain areas. Now the first thing that I like to point out to you is I turn it towards the light here you can see the warping and the unevenness around the edges of the device now when you take this out of your pocket and you hand this to somebody and they look at this case the first impression that they have that it looks like a ten dollar case or maybe not even now here is another case that I have purchased from amazon.com now this is not a waterproof case but it's very similar in a way that it has the front screen protector in the same way it protects you from any drops or you know somewhat of the dust now when you look at the front of this case and this is a $15 case we're talking about here you can see how nice and even the screen is when I hold it against the light 
all the way around. There's no warping anywhere. And when I put this on my screen, it looks really nice. If this actually, this $15 case looks better on my phone than an $80 case. Another thing is, even a week later, they're still warping. So originally I showed you that there was some warping in the material and I was hoping that it's gonna even itself out, but it still didn't. The next thing that really bugs me about it is the fingerprint sensor, that there was this bubbling in this softer material here. Well now, guess what? Instead of the bubbling being there, it's stuck to the button right below the material here. Now it just creates these imperfections in there. I guess it's smaller bubbles, which actually it does interfere with my fingerprint sensing. So a lot of times when I try to turn the phone on and I put my finger on it, the phone doesn't unlock. It just tells me to try again because it doesn't sense my fingerprint. And I have to do it several times and you see it's still telling me to try again still doesn't want to open as you can see it just it just doesn't sense it the other things that I don't like about the case is that I could not use any other cable to plug into the headphone jack here just the one that comes with the unit I tried many different cables nothing fits in there also when I had to charge my device I have a bunch of aftermarket cables because I don't necessarily want to pay 20 30 dollars for Apple's lightning cable but none of them fit in there so I always have to carry now a lightning cable with me that's made by Apple for me to be able to charge my device in the car or at home or at work. Now the other thing here is the speaker output and I'm not even sure why it's there because to be honest when I play music the sound kind of doesn't even come out this way it more like shoots into the back of the phone creating this vibration kind of like a distortion to the phone when I'm listening to the music. You can also see that when I cover the bottom part here compared to the phone without the case on it doesn't really make that much of a difference because the sound, like I said, it's coming to the back here. Now to demonstrate the sound, I'm going to do the same thing as I usually do with the speakers, where I will switch between the phone with the case on and without it, and maybe that way you can hear the sound difference a little better. So I'm not sure if you can completely hear it, but the sound is a bit muffled and distorted with the case on. So overall, I think it's a decent case for protecting your phone from damage or from water, but I don't think it's worth the price they're asking for it. I think the price tag is more for the brand name here rather than the quality. Unfortunately, if you want the waterproof case, then you don't really have too many choices, but I would still rather do a research on it before I would drop $80 for this one.